step in. Be careful of the gap there. Be okay. ready for the wind or the air coming up to meet you. Air circulating out of the mine. We're the only one in the Western Hemisphere that you can actually go into a salt mine and tour. That is not something that is generally offered. You're arriving 650 feet under the Kansas Prairie. Temperature is 68 degrees, and in the museum area, 40 to 45 percent relative humidity year round. Underground to me is very calming, very quiet, um, gives you a chance to collect yourself and relax and enjoy, enjoy history. Who knew that inside my my number counting brain that I liked history? But it's it's pretty awesome. And you can actually look like you're slaving away in the salt mine. <laughs> but imagine filling these by hand, breaking up rocks small enough that you can get them that high into an ore car. No, thank you. Here's a drill hole that you can actually look down into. <laughs> We're a museum that you can um, touch some items, you can watch some items, and you can experience some of the items. The other business in the mine is underground vaults and storage. We cannot take you to their facility. It's very secure for their clients, but they do have an exhibit for you to come and see. They store predominantly for Hollywood. Uh, lots of movies, television series, and for this exhibit, they've been able to procure costumes, props from Hollywood. This one happens to be from Charlie's Angels. This was the fire suit for Cameron Diaz. Total mind darkness is when there is no light to allow your eyes to focus. They continually try to focus. And we do that so that um, people get an idea of what it would be like to be a miner and to lose their power, their light source, whatever. A true miner can find their way out of the mine in the dark by following the floor pattern and the patterns on the wall. I'm not there. I would, uh, would need some help.